Welcome, I am Marcus Belvin, Outbound Product Manager here at ServiceNow. With our Xanadu release, we introduced the Service Reliability Management Solution to meet key needs of operations managers and support teams alike. This demo highlights one of the key features of the new SRM solution that operators will love, setting service level objectives, indicators, and error budgets with ease. Our starting place is the Service Operations Workspace Home where you can choose the services tile on the left navigation toolbar to select an existing service in the CMDB or create a new service. We will click the add a service button, which creates a new dynamic configuration item group. We will name this service payment to outline a key payment application offered to our customers. Since our business can't succeed without receiving payments, we set its business criticality value to most critical. Then we click the next button. Now we must assign this service to a support team that will monitor and manage it. We start by selecting a service owner from the list of users in our instance environment. Then choose an existing support group or create a new team. Once that information is set, we click add service, followed by continue to set up to set the service level management information. On the payment service dashboard, you can view or update its details, service map, integrations, and related alerts. But in this demo, we will visit the Reliability Metrics tab so we can add SLO and SLI. We start by setting up the SLO. Note the required fields of name, SLI type, objective measurement, and more are denoted with an asterisk. We will name this particular objective availability and keep the default SLI type and duration measurement. Set the duration measurement percentage to 99.9% .9 for a compliance period of monthly. Next, we expand the SLI section to click Add SLI. For the SLI name, we enter Availability Indicator. Then, keep the data service for SLI's choice default. Under that, choose New Condition Set to select priority in the field dropdown, choose is as the operator and enter one for the value. Finally, Expand the Error Budget Policy section and click Add Threshold. The service and SLO values are already set, so you simply have to set the threshold like Error Budget Remaining Percentage. Then enter a percentage that aligns with your goals. We will enter 10% and choose a threshold breach action of Send an Email, although you can choose to create an incident as well. Complete these settings by clicking the Save button. The last step is to activate this service level setting. You can then review or edit the details, service level indicators, and error budget policies on the availability service dashboard. To show how a burn down is tracked over time, I will select the user authentication service in our environment, where you can see the failed logins SLO has an error budget down to 70% due to alerts generated against it. As a recap, in this demo, we showed the ease of setting service level objectives, indicators associated with them, and surrounding them with error budget boundaries within the new SRM environment. For more information about this and other new features, or to contact us, visit the ServiceNow ITOM community site.